Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, and this is home of your burning and learning, and I'm joined with Hubby. Hubcap. And today we are burning stone. I know that sounds funny, but we're burning stone. We're going to work on the dark areas that the dragon is on. And if you're just joining us for this live, there's a whole playlist that link down in the description so you can get started from the beginning with a link to where the pattern's at. And let's say hi to everybody. Hey, Jenny, Teresa, Greg, Barb, and more as they come in because YouTube takes forever. So I have a lighter version that I printed out. With. I showed it last week, and that way I can see where the darkest darks are. I can always darken. It's hard and harder to lighten. So I'm starting off with three. I'm using my 18S sphere shader so we can block in and even three looks a little hot and that's because i was at three and a half a little hot all righty let's see here i'm gonna hold the picture like this i guess so our darkest part is right here and i do want to start off a little lighter than i would be doing so let's start getting that blocked in and even now, because this is poplar, three is pretty darn dark. But that is okay. It'll go darker later. So let's get this blocked. And if you've already done this part and you feel it's a little dark, don't freak out. It's going to look really dark until you put other stuff in. Even though the dragon is already blocked in. I got it all burned in, but I still need to darken areas. See, even with this, I would get a smoother burn with the ball, with the spoon shader. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Some, some pins are better than others for certain woods. So I'm going to switch over to make sure my tip's clean. To the large spoon shader. If you've got a smaller size, absolutely use that. Let me just... I'm in a large area. So right here. How is everybody doing? Hey, Will. We've also got um, Andrea Tol oh. Tol Tolbert. Hi, Andrea. Burl's here. Hey, Burl. Deborah Hollis. Hey, Deborah. Um, Yuri said hi to Will. Jenny and Will Bill Bill. There we go. Or is it Will Wild? Oh, Bill Bill. <laughs> Yeah, see the spoon shaders. Oh, and Spence is here too. Hey, Spence. Definitely work better on the poplar, I think. It's less um, harsh, is what I'm finding. And this is a dark area here, but I'm going to, it's not as dark as underneath. So I'm going to move quickly and I can come back into the dark, slow down. I need to blend this out because the sphere shader was a little harsh. Harsher than I wanted. Granted, it's rock, it's stone. So, even if it comes out a little harsh, it will look just fine. Supersonics is here. Hey, Supersonic. Alrighty. So, I'm trying to use more of the bowl. I'm getting this in. Uh, Layla. She is being a brat. Barking at the wind. Yes, we have a bull mastiff that barks at the wind. So let's get that in here. Now this top part, that is snow. Um, if you don't want snow, you don't, you don't have to put it in. But it will kind of go with the snow in the background later. So it does fit. And of course for me, it's snow. I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in. See? The spoon shader is burning much smoother, less harsh. Doesn't mean that the spear sh there's anything wrong with the spear shader. It's just sometimes another tip will work better on a certain piece of wood. And I found for the softer woods, um, basswood, softer feeling as in you can leave your nail in it. It's still a hardwood. Um, that I'm liking the uh, spoon shaders. <laughs> what? 
Now, Supersonics is Cindy Rose. Grandson is <laughs> changing the name. Oh. Uh, Life Adventures with Jeremy Cash is here. Hi, Jeremy. I don't know who that is. And well, he's new, so welcome. Andrea Tobert says... Says... Oh, he did. <laughs> he just wanted to dab. <clears throat> You're old. Huh? You just wanted to dab. Says you. You're old. That's what says you. Well, yeah, because nobody else is in the room talking to you. It's one to no one. You're still older than me. Whatever. So I'm on three, and I'm doing a bunch of ovals. And again, I can always darken up, but this gives me a little bit of wiggle room that if I don't want to go as dark, I don't have to. And you can change anything like that in the piece that you're doing, but always remember to have a balance of darks and lights. If you don't want something really dark, don't make it really dark. That's the beauty of you being the artist. You don't have to do it. So look at this in here. Let's see, even this is lighter. So I'm still following the direction of the rock, meaning this rock is angled down. So I'm trying to go with that angle. And the same here this is up so I'm going to try and curved so I'm going to try to keep my strokes going up and down and curving them okay, this is a darker area and then next week we shall start with a fog and trees that should be interesting we'll see how that goes so this has a dark that's right here. Remember, I didn't transfer everything in my pattern. So this part is not as dark, but it does look darker in the photo. And see, I can do this. I shall do this. What is that? I am going to take my General's White Charcoal Pencil. This is the only color you can burn on or next to safely. And this, since this is where the snow is, I'm going to put that in so I can see if I need to go lighter or darker. And, and that's just because it's just straight chalk? Mm-hmm. Oh, so it doesn't have any other additives in it. That shouldn't. Would, yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't. There we go. So there's really not a whole lot of snow. We've got a little bit down here at the bottom where it's caught. But where we're at here, it doesn't have a whole lot. So let's just put that in there. So we have it. It erases, it wipes off with the denatured alcohol. So I'm not going to stress over it. Evie Mix is here. Hey, Evie. It says, hi, Val. Murray is tightly packed and ready to go home. Yay. Can't wait to get Murray. Murray the Raven. Lovely work, Evie. Val, was, Val told me the whole story. Yep. Well, I read, read her, her comment to you. All right, let's get this crack in there. We do want the cracks because the cracks give it more character. It makes it not look so flat. Now I can go back with the with the um, spear shader and add the cracks with the edge because we don't want them outlined, but we do want the cracks in. And this is going to be rough. Let's see here. I can't even see this on the regular on the regular reference photo. Let's erase some graphite. And this is just my regular 4 in 1 eraser. And I have found that with the poplar, the graphite is harder to remove. I will have to try to blend in. In fact, I forgot to do one thing. Did you forget? I forgot to lighten my lines before I started burning. Like this. But can you guys still see? Yeah, you can still see them on camera. Cause I, yes. I always go heavy for camera, but then I have to fight getting graphite off. You see the white charcoal just erased. Totally fine because we're moving down anyway. 
and I found erasing with the grain, like this is a long grain, erasing with the grain helps a little bit more. I'm getting graphite off. And then once I have, I think, a pretty good chunk of this in, I'm going to wipe off with some denatured alcohol. And why are you wiping off with the denatured alcohol? It helps take the graphite off. Okay. And it also, it feels like any erasers leave um, residue mm -hmm. on the board. And the denatured alcohol removes that uh, residue. And that's for any eraser. All right. Let's get this in here. In fact, I need to actually clean my tip. I'm going to turn that off. Let's cool off. I guess we're going to have a cleaning session. I have noticed with poplar when I burn darker, I am having to clean my tip more. And I can tell because it's not shiny no more. You have a question. Mm -hmm. Are you reading it or do you want me to read it? No, go ahead. I'm cleaning. Uh, Andrea Tolbert just got back following you again due to uh, moving. Oh. Just set up my art room. Missed the first two burns. Where can I get the reference photo from and what type of board are you using? This is Poplar, and down in the description is the Facebook group where the patterns are. And if you want to get caught up, just watch the last couple of videos yep. on YouTube. They're shorter because we're moving to this format of two shorter lives a week to cover more people. And I like them. I don't know about you. Well, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes it feels like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm trying to find things to say and really repeat myself, and then others, and like. Oh, wait a minute, that one's so quick. Did I explain this? But luckily, we have the live tomorrow for me to yeah. finish explaining. So I'm just wiping off any of the powder. I, I think that it's better because then you, you have it's a shorter amount of, of time commitment. But, yep. um, but then, like, so we have Mondays and Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. And so, like, beef, you know, we talked about different people can catch the lives now that wouldn't be able to previously. Yeah, come in and ask your question. And, uh, I don't know, it just feels better to me. Andreas loves the step-by-step -step you give. Oh, thank you. See, I always wonder, because some people just don't respond to them. So I never know. Never, never knew. Alrighty, so we should have a clean tip now. And the reason I Besides the fact that I could feel the difference in the burning, um, it left a different color burning. And poplar seems to be quite obvious with that. So, part of me is wondering, there's going to be only certain subjects, I think, that I will put on poplar. Okay. Well, uh, what kind? You know, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> like less detailed or... Um, not so much less detail, but one where it maybe it has more texture. Mm. So maybe, and that's on this brand of poplar. It may be that a different brand will burn differently because that happens. The wood is sourced from a different location. So sometimes changing that helps, but for... Like, I tested to see, I need to re redo Jonathan, so I was testing to see what I thought of the poplar for that, and I just, I didn't like the texture. So, I don't see doing a portrait on it, but I could see doing a snake or uh, different animals, I think would be fine. But not, at least this stuff, not for portrait. Landscapes, maybe buildings, might be a good option. But now I know. So, uh, Greg says Sheila says hi to all. <laughs> and that's for people that don't know, Greg and Sheila are on opposite schedules, so one can catch the live and the other one doesn't, so you either get Greg and Sheila, but you probably won't. Really get them both. Get both Greg and Sheila. So not for a while anyway. Yeah. They're both the uh, toasty moderators. Gotcha. Over in our group. So Harley Girl. Hey Harley um, Girl. Says, well, 
And you rejected the message, but I'm going to read your message anyway, because I remember it. She said she finally made the live. So, um... Oh, I was like, what are you talking about? She what said message? she's behind. But I don't it's know okay. Why, why would you retract that? There's nothing controversial about that. Um, I only caught up the other day. Let's see. And Beryl says, yeah, I'm still working on the portrait. So, <laughs> um, so Beryl says that she likes the shorter lives. But if she can remember that there are two of them. Spence says, I'm having to set an alarm. I had to set an alarm. <laughs> it's my yes. life. <laughs> um, <coughs> Excuse me. And apparently Spence is also still on his portrait. Uh, Beryl says, Spence, I will race you. Mm. Jim Brom is, Hi, Jim. says, hello from Michigan. What material are you burning? This, Sorry, just got here. This is popular. This is popular. All right. Let's move down. See, I've lowered my heat. This is just slightly below three. We can see a big difference in the heat and the color of burn. Mm. I'm probably going to, because this is a dark area. I'm going to bump back up to three. Yeah, this is poplar. All the woods burn differently, and they all have a bit of a learning curve. Even after burning for 14 years, I still have to remember what wood burns which way and get it wrong. So maybe I think a piece of wood would be good for something, and then I don't like how it's burning. Totally normal. It's it's nice to know that people are people are saying they're behind, but you know what? You're not behind. Yeah, you this is it at your pace. Yeah, and that's you do it at the pace that you want to. Yep, that's the purpose of the group. Now, when we go to do the um, World Pyography Month in August, that is a challenge to get things done, but to do so um, in, in a good way. Even though I've dropped it from nine, or I'm sorry, from thirty different burns in 30 days I dropped it down to nine that's a lot more achievable yeah I think well the 30 is still achievable but you're not it's a lot of pressure well not even that it's just you're not you're doing quick outlines and I don't teach outlines yeah so it kind of defeats what I try to help people with well I think too because it's biography. It's not like the ink, like Inktober or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you just have a pen and ink and paper and you just bang out something. Yeah. You know, if you're burning, you actually have a setup and it takes time. So it's a little more time intensive. <laughs> Spence says, bro, we aren't supposed to rush things. I'll be 80 when I'm done. <laughs> <clears throat> no, don't rush. No, no, no rush. Let's see here. We got a line here. We got a line there. This is a dark area. I was trying to find my dark. Hey, where'd my coaster go? I don't know. I hid it. Where I, are you hiding it? I didn't hide it. Coaster. Right. See, this area can go even darker. But I can worry about it later. I'm not going to stress about it. All right, let's see here. Any more dark areas? No. So we are going to bump down our heat. And I think we're actually going to change pants. I think we are going to go with... Let's see here. What are you bumping your heat down to? Two and a half. I think I'm going to grab the small spear shader, or spoon shader, but this, this looks different than what you buy because this was a tester pen because I helped I did the testing of the spoon shader so I have the first generation and so don't be bothered by how it looks and I bumped down to two and a half we could also use huh, the extra large ball tip as well but I switched over in order to get into some of these lines. 
I'm just gonna sketch him in. Uh, Harley girl said, uh, apparently she was trying to switch to her phone so she could, uh, so it would say her profile name, but for some reason the phone won't let her. Huh. She was saying she's so behind in bringing up the rear. So, I don't know. Well, I think we're all in there. I think, yeah. There's only a couple people that are like burning through it. Like, the, when you think, when people think pyrography, I don't think they think the, the 100 meter dash. It's more like the spoon egg race. <laughs> yes. Yes. See, even though I'm on two and a half, I lowered my heat because this is a smaller tip. It takes less to. Stephen Bunch says hello, hello. Hey, Stephen. Let's get this in here. And all I'm doing is trying to get some of these cracks in. It might look like outlining, but what I'm doing is just kind of scrumbling. Speaking of crack, mm -hmm. you haven't played Skyrim this week. I was being good. I was working on my owl that's still behind. Yeah, but you know, dragons aren't going to slay themselves. <laughs> okay. I'll get there. I mean, there's a bunch of ruins that need to be investigated. I know you know this, but... I do. Especially since you made me start over. <laughs> Now I have the crappy bow. That's the best. Hey, I'm making you good bows. We switch off and I do the forging because she doesn't like doing the forging. It's boring and annoying. I love it. It's so fun. Hours and hours of fun for me. Tink, tink, tink. No. Tink, no. tink, tink. <laughs> now everybody in the chat is asleep. Thanks. Oh. You put them all to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what I do. That's my superpower. I know. So I'm not trying to outline. I am trying to blend it out. But these were darker areas that we need. Oh, my God. It's sad that Bob isn't around. I could have had a calm off with him. You could have. You could have. That's my crowning achievement. So I put a I put a soldier to sleep. I have a soldier somewhere in the world who has a scar on her forehead because she passed out during one of my briefings <laughs> with her eyes open. Which is why I worry when he tells you guys and stories. She, and she woke up and she's like, "What happened?" I was focusing on your voice, and then I was on the ground. <laughs> <clears throat> Quick movements because I'm going lighter. But I need to get some of these darks in here. Without it being obvious. There we go. Sometimes I worry about you telling them stories for that very reason. Next thing we hear is people yelling because they broke their, their iPads because they dropped them. Oh my god, maybe that's why chat slows down. Maybe. You put them all to sleep. I'm so sorry. Please don't. I work hard on this. Uh, Harley Girl has a question. Mm -hmm. I noticed that you added the tail. Did I miss that part? Like yours has spikes. No, spikes now. I screwed up with the pattern, and I couldn't. I didn't see the spikes when I was making the pattern. But then <clears throat> Jenny had found another um, photo, and I didn't print it out. But there's actual spikes that go out, so I added the spikes. So you can do spikes or no spikes. <coughs> Excuse me, I kind of like the spikes better, so that's why I added them. So you could add like a, a rad earring on your dragon. <laughs> well, they can do anything they want with their dragon. <laughs> and like a Frankie Goes to Hollywood t-shirt. No? No. No, no, no. So, let's get this. This has actually got some light hitting the stone. And that's one thing we got to pay attention to is where the light's hitting the stone. And then right where the crack is underneath is where it's going to be darker. So I'll keep that stroke, but try to blend it out. So Stephen Bunch is still playing around with his new burner. Hmm. He says it's amazing. Oh, good. You got an optima. 
Because Jenny says it's a tail mod. It's a tail mod, yep. You know, that's one thing. See, so maybe maybe we should move one of the PS4s into the bedroom. Then I gotta start over again. Yes, but then they have the Creation Club where you can have mods and extra stuff. I don't have time for the... I have a YouTube Look, channel. There's always time for Skyrim. And I'm so behind on so much work. I don't have time for that. Me too. That's right. Frankie says relax, Steven. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I, I was never, hoping somebody would get that. I never liked them. Huh? I never liked Frankie. You know, I think a lot of people probably would have forgotten them outside of the 80s. Except for me. But I like Never them. liked them, I even like in the 80s. the 80s. Whatever. Didn't like them. Anyway... See, now when I go dark here, the reason I'm going darker is this is projecting out. So we're going to have a darker shadow right underneath. So that's why I keep going back to darken it. Why is the dragon pro projecting? Is he not comfortable with himself? Herself. Herself, sorry. This is Morgana. Why is she projecting? No, the rock is projecting, not her. Why did you bring Dwayne Johnson into this? <laughs> You had caught too much coffee, didn't you? Well, maybe. I just woke up. Well, I did too, but you don't see me doing it. No, that's because you're busy. You I have am. to work. I don't. I can you're be back here and wave my hands in, my, in the air like I just don't care. You're supposed to be working. I am. I'm reading comments. Then don't say you're not working. What? I don't think they want to hear our back and forth. All right, Is so. that your way of, of you telling me, silence? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I already acknowledged. Alright, so what I'm doing is trying to darken up some of this area. Because I can really get into the cracks with a smaller tip. You can use the spear shader. And remember, I can't stress this enough. Your wood is going to burn differently than mine. It's, it's going to happen. This is darker. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of hesitant on this one to give the heat settings because of that. This poplar definitely does not take a lot of heat. Now, once it's burned, I'm still going to have to bump up the heat. But right now, even though this area has been burned dark, I am still at two and a half. This small tip really is getting up in there. And it'll be good for cracks. Now, any cracks, I just kind of scribble my pen around with no clear cut definition. I am trying to watch the little pinpoints I just did around this corner. Right down. In fact, I need to bring this down more. Right here. Now this is a light area, so let's sum this down. You see how the just scrumbling around kind of give it more definition, and because I'm hitting it with different speeds and pressure, it um gives different depth to it. Now you went completely quiet on me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't silencing you. Yeah, I was just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually... You're pouting. No, I wasn't. Burl says that I'm trying to corrupt you. <laughs> yes, Burl, I'm trying to corrupt her. Yeah, he can't um, do that. Oh, he's talking about with the Skyrim. That's what I know what she's talking about. Let's see. Uh, you do have a question, though. Mm -hmm. How the girl wants to know, are you using an Optima burner? Uh, absolutely. Optima. Absolutely. Optima. I put all my other burners away. I don't use any of my other ones. Don't use any of my other ones. Jim Brum wants to know, do you ever go over four or five? Um, for dark backgrounds, I do. Um, sometimes when I need to darken something, if it's already, if I already went dark, but it needs more darkening, then yeah. Um, 
Not often, though. It's not often. The, um... The way our optimas are set up internally, the connections are, are solid, and it lends for a better electrical slash heat transfer, which makes it more efficient, which makes it able awesome. to burn on lower temperatures to get uh, the same effect that some other burners would get on a higher temperature. Well, it also helps with how the pins are made, too. The other Nike from wire, they're made differently. Mm. Right, so I need to clean that tip. I want to try before we finish up. I need to clean that tip anyway. So let's try. I want to see how the extra large ball tip does. Steven just got his Optima and he already wants more pans. <laughs> he's doing shading graphs right now and he's hooked. Well, there's the four main pens that I recommend when you get started with the Optima. Um, and then you can add more later. Now this pin, because there's a lot of metal on the end, it takes longer to heat up. And I may not see enough heat on three. So this pin, I may actually have to go four or five for what I want. Make sure I'm on the right side. Yep. Uh, so this... <laughs> yes. So this pin, when there's a lot of mass on the end of the tip, you're going to need a higher heat setting. And I'll touch down, and it this one takes um, a little longer to heat up because there's so much. Now I could heat it up quickly by switching it over to 10 and then bumping down to my heat setting, but I didn't think to do it. Didn't think about it. Alrighty, so we have a deep crack in here, so let's, even though we weren't going to down. And we're at 631, and that's all the time we have today. Well, at least let me show that if I didn't even bump down to... I just wanted to say that. 4.30. Okay. Or to three, three and a half. Three and a half is where I'm at. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I wanted to show... Let me find a place. This is, uh, we have some shadow here. So at three and a half with the extra large ball tip. Oh. Burl's internet sucks. You can only see chat, but no voice or video. Oh. That sucks. Can somebody type in chat that we're almost done? I'll do it. There you go. So this is three and a half. But you see how much texture I'm getting with this pen? I need to do smaller, really co close strokes to kind of even it out. But... This is really going to help, I think, for some of the texture of stone. And it may work better where? In more of the blurry background area. Or actually texture on the wing, because there is some texture. So this might actually... Because I hadn't tried this pin out yet on hot blue. Yeah. This might be good for the pin, for the wings. And this is at three and a half on top. Of but you're going to see a lot of the squiggly lines. And sometimes the spoon shaders are like large ball tips. Like really large ball tips. Same concept. So Harley Girl says she's run into that same problem. She has the same type of wood and both sanded and have run into one piece of wood and it will burn right and the the other piece I can literally have it turned all the way down to zero and it will burn like it's three or higher. Yeah. It, Why? She wants to know is there any ideas? Um, maybe that piece of wood well, even if you buy it and it's in the same pack, doesn't mean it's off the same board. And so different boards are going to burn differently. Different areas of a tree are going to burn differently. And it's just... That's one thing that you get with uh, working on with pyrography that I see. I'm not a pyrographer. Um, is that, like, because I use canvas, and by and large, like, I don't have to worry about that. Like, it's going to be the same result every time because 
paint adheres in a certain way, mm -hmm. you know, but with you, you have to worry about each individual piece of, of wood is an entity unto itself. Yep, yeah, they all have their own personalities, and sometimes those personalities clash with what you want to do. And finding out a way to work around that, I, I in general, don't recommend throwing your work away. Or even starting over, especially when you're new. If you can keep push past the ugly, you will learn so much. That's true. So much. Nobody else has to see it. But you will have learned a ton pushing through the ugly. And right now, we're still very much in the ugly stage. And the piece can stay ugly for 90% of the time you're working on it. And sometimes... It's hard to stick with that. Let's back this out a little bit. So you guys are getting the texture that, because it's on camera, and I don't know why our camera has been zip, zip, zip. I don't know why. I don't know. I see it, it, but it. Yeah. It's not a I'll figure it out for tomorrow. It just may be that, I don't know if I'm bumping the camera or something. You don't know. Alrighty. So we will pick up with burning this stone tomorrow. Now, if you're doing the pattern, I did notice, and in my drawing, I did draw it this way, but all this right here, all of this, sorry, let me get it right here, is part of this one rock, all this area. So, Harley Girl says that on zero setting, it's kind of nuts to burn like the settings on three. What burner are you using? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's, a, it's the burner. That's kind of nuts to burn. Yeah, what burner are you using? And is it an interchangeable tip? Well, that's true too, because you can get time where, where it'll set, but then you have to reset it each time. Yep. Reset temperature each time because it. Because carbon is created yeah. between the connection. So I'm just waiting until she answers. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see here. Optima. Huh. Your Optima should not be doing that. No, it shouldn't. Let's see here. But on zero setting, that's kind of nuts to burn like the settings of three. She says a dual Optima. Just keep blowing on the tip so at zero it won't burn as hot. At zero, for flat work, you shouldn't be getting any burn. Yeah. I, in fact, even with, well, you can't go to zero, so, well, I guess technically you kind of can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out to a pen that I haven't used. Eh, meaning it's not still, doesn't still have heat on it. I'm going to grab this poplar testing board that I've been using. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it on the lowest setting you could possibly put for an Optima. So this is below the one with the 18 s spear shader. On poplar, this is from the same company, but a different board. And really, let's zoom in here. This board's are, yeah, you're going to have to adjust the unit. I would call Pat. But see, even on Poplar, this is... I did not expect a burn, to be honest. Hmm. Look at that. And you can tell the tip is dirty because it's got gray in it. I forgot to clean it. Oh, yeah, I was going to clean it before I turned it back on. <laughs> Oops, so this is zero on Poplar. I would not have expected a burn. This is basswood. I'm getting a slight burn. This is a birch. Let me find a burn. Teresa I'm said, getting no burn. Teresa oh. said she had to adjust her dual also. Yeah, you may have to adjust it. Very little burn on birch. So, there's a little hole at the bottom of your Optima. I'm kind of shocked on this. So sorry. I'm kind of, there's a little hole. I would call Pat tomorrow and talk to him if possible. You can also Facebook message him. 
That way you can show him a picture of the two different woods and your setting and what the burn looks like. And it sounds like it needs to be dialed down. So you would be turning, let's see, it's on the bottom. So you'd be turning very small to the left until so you got the adjustment down. It's the only thing I can think of. I should have no burn there. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Okay. She just asked, how do I do that? But uh, I think that the video hasn't caught up to her yet. Just in case. I'm sorry, I had to get up to get the Optima single. Ah. Uh, are you going to show them? Mm -hmm. oh. And slide. Every Optima. Ah! It was in my way. Now I gotta go get those. It was in my way. Not my fault. It was in my way. That's not your fault. <laughs> you threw them. Every Optima has a tiny little screw at the bottom. What and kind of a screw? It, it is a Phillips. Okay. And when I say tiny, okay, I don't want to adjust this, but I will at least. Let me see if I can find the screw. Uh, that's too big. Um, people are saying good night and thank you. Um, you would spin to the left. Tiny. Jenny Locke says it's looking amazing. Thank, thank you God. for your time and knowledge. We really appreciate it. Uh, huh. hit, hit the like button. Yes, please hit the like button. Yes, it helps like. us out a ton. Comment if possible. That also helps us out. Steven yes. Butts is looking good though. Everybody have a great night. Don't forget you are awesome. You can do this. You're a pyro artist and we will see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Arizona time. I just made a mess. <laughs> I know you did. Happy burning and learning. Nothing new about that. <laughs> don't, don't forget there's a playlist. Yeah, I used everything down in my drawer.